Hey everybody, welcome to Mentalist on the Shoestring. We've got some more reviews for you. Now, if you you've probably seen it from the title, so you know what's going on. We've popped over to the lovely Steve Della shop over at nightflightdeck.com. Uh, that's where you'll find Steve's wonderful and still probably one of the best marked cards out there, especially for a speed reader or having to, you know, if you've got dodgy vision like me, definitely worth it. Yes, I do like the circuit ones, but they're a little bit more hidden, but I just like these because of the speed that you can read these out easily on, so I still think they're the best ones. And of course, he does gaff cards for these as well. Well worth checking out for any of you guys out there who like to use a Mark deck. But we're not looking at Mark's decks today. We are going to, we've actually gone over to the everything else part of his website. We're perusing through, I found two things that I kind of like the look of. And they are basically um, the PVC Z wallet and the Room 37 pack of two. Uh, the wallet itself is £5.75 and the cards, you get two of them for £5. However, usually they're £10, but there's a little problem with these. Hence why he's selling off really, really cheap. But I think it's something you could, with a bit of thinking, you could get round one of the uh, bits on here as well. But we'll go through that. And of course, while you're there, he's got um, black and red Sharpies, Cambridge cards, Pendle. Uh, security tag and bad credit which is basically credit cards but uh, sort of fake ones that you can use in a say a wallet of your choice or some of your things as well up to you indeed so yeah go and check those out which one we're going to do quickly but let me tell you about them before you go over there and buy see hotel fleur cards are basically a pack of two cards um, on the outset they look very uh, standard sort of key cards that you will get uh, here's a real key card. This is actually a real one, and yet yeah, they pretty match. They look pretty good, you know, no problems at all. Uh, they are credit card size. They will fit the wallet. You do get two of them, which is nice. So you can have, you know, if you've got a wallet that perhaps switches, say like the old Orphic, you could have one in each side, and of course you could do your switching, and everything would look the same. However, on closer inspection of these key cards, there is actually some revelations built into it. So um, there's a uh, three seven. 1018 10, well this is 1098 not 1089 hence why they've been knocked down in price because you're going to have to work on the code and there are others in here as well which means that during the process of a magical effect or an esp card effect um or even a destination effect because it's in here uh you could kind of uh da -da -da -da, do that as well so it's basically a revelation card with multiple revelations built into it that covers most of the classic well-known ones out there so the size it takes up, even just having one of these in your wallet, would give you a nice little revelation should the need arise. And you can get to it quite quickly because it is credit card. So it will sit in the wallet, no problems at all. The design is nice. They look real. Um, if I compare them against, uh, this is an unbranded one. You can have unbranded, but it's got all the same stuff on there as well. This has got a little bit extra, of course, but uh, no, very nicely made, very handy, covers you for multiple of bits and pieces. And because you've got two of them, as I said before, in a wallet where you may be doing switching, you can have two identical cards to help sell the point that you're not actually doing some naughty, naughty stuff that uh, mentalisms and magicians do. So yeah, Hotel Fleur, I mean, if you want to wait for a bit until he's fixed the problem, it's 1089 force is incorrect. It's actually 1098. This is very clear on the website. Um, however, with a little bit of additional maths, you could probably work your way around it and still use it. But for playing around with and practicing, absolutely perfect. And just even you just want a couple of identical cards, you know, boom, done. No problems. Cheap way of doing it as well. However, the Z Fold wallet, uh, I think most mentalists and magicians know what a Z wallet is. On the picture, he does actually show it um, in both states. So I think I can kind of show the working of this one because it's only a Z Fold wallet. And as soon as you say Z Fold wallet or switching wallet, I think a majority of you guys who watch these videos will know what that is. And I don't really want to insult your intelligence. So, hey, hey. So uh, it's basically a packet. It looks very much like a packet trick wallet. However, it can actually switch. So if I wanted to, I could take a Z card. Uh, I can use either side, by the way. You've got two pockets on the inside. And then I can then close it up, blow, and then the card disappears. Yeah. Or if you wanted to, you could even do the old magical transformation and make the card switch over. So yeah, it's basically 
I think I can show it's that. It's the most simplest of Z Fold wallets. There are some more expensive ones on the market which have locking features. I think I've done a review of some of those already. Um, but for something that's cheap and cheerful, but still very well made, uh, would probably, if you are using packet tricks with this SIM design, it wouldn't look too out of place. You could carry packet tricks in there if you wanted to and just do it so you could switch between one, two, three, four. Um, you could use it for multiple outs as well, which is also something else a wallet like this is useful. But for its size and thinness, yeah, get a few cards in it, it will expand very slightly. It's something that if I was to take my tried and trusty Maverick, um, you know, I can have that in there with all the other stuff. And boom, there you go. I've got a Z Fold wallet inside a wallet, which will go inside a bag. Woohoo, inception. So yeah, so in terms of using it in carry, very, very easy. Uh, again, back pocket, side pocket, and has very useful functions. So there we go then, guys. Poppy sells over to uh, Steve Diller's shop over at nightflightdeck.com. I believe it is Nightflight Deck. Yes, not Nightflight Cards. I've tried that, doesn't work. And you can pick these up. And while you're there, have a check through, have a look around. He's got other stuff on there as well. Don't forget, Good, really good mark cards. Really, really good. People love them. And I'll catch you all on the next review. So I'm now out of here. Bye for now.